What if someone was What if someone was forced on into temptation and lost their virginity? If somebody forced you into a sexual relationship and, uh, and it is heartbreaking that uh, in a country that is as conservative as ours, uh, the one who forces you is usually the person who knows you, could be a close relative, uh, could be an uncle, could be anybody. Uh, you know, so when that happens, the, the Bible is very clear. I want you to read the, uh, the book of Deuteronomy, which happens to be the most favorite book of Jesus. You can say that because he quoted three verses from Deuteronomy to beat temptation. Uh, temptation we read about in uh, Matthew chapter 4, Luke chapter 4. And then if you read Deuteronomy, I think the, if you start reading 22nd chapter, 23rd chapter, 24th chapter, the latter part of Deuteronomy, uh, the Bible talks about what happens to, uh, what happens in rape cases. So uh, what I uh, understand from those rape cases is, you know, when it happens for the first time and uh, when it happens, uh, you, you're supposed uh, you have some, actually, the, the scripture says that in Deuteronomy, you may not believe it, that you have to scream. And even after you scream, uh, it could be a loved one, but you still scream. When you scream, you know, you your chances are if it happens nearby, a loved one will reach out to you. Uh, your parents will reach out to you. Uh, let's say that you, you scream, nobody heard you and you, you got raped. You don't have to blame yourself for it. You don't have to blame yourself for it. But then God has given you wisdom. Don't put yourself in the same spot with the same person like that. Okay. And uh, Isaiah 118 says, though your, uh, though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And guess what? When you got raped and, and you screamed and nobody came to help you, that is not even a sin. But you feel dirty. You know, the good news is that Jesus not only washes your literal sins, but also sins that you think are sins but are not sins. Sometimes you feel dirty. Uh, we have seen people go take a bath after a rape has happened. You know, those kind of things. But I want you to understand that in Jesus' eyes, you have not sinned. But if you keep putting yourself in the same position, then you lack wisdom. So converse with your parents. If you're not able to, if you don't share a good relationship with your parents, converse with your pastors, pastor uncle, pastor auntie, you know, bring them out. Uh, Ivan and I have been in situations like this uh, and uh, and this is the counsel we gave and today that, that situation of rape and that situation of repeated sexual abuse has come to an end and that person who was once in that situation is now doing ministry. We have real stories of that. So, and, and again, don't hit the rewind button. Don't keep on thinking about what happened. Uh, you know, move forward because God has a grand, glorious plan. Uh, Job 42 and verse 2 says, No plan of yours can be, uh, no plan of God for you can be thwarted or stopped. So you keep moving forward. No rapist, no sexual abuser can put an end to that plan. God will still work out all his glorious plans for you.